This is a demo and instruction video showing that how you could upload the data from AW300 wireless energy meter to AWS IoT platform. After logging your own AWS account, finding security policy interface, create policy. Set policy name. Select allow for policy effect. Star mark for policy action. Also star mark for policy resource. After setting, click quick for new policy. Then, find the all device scene interface. Click create scene button. Select create single scene. Click next, continue. Set scene name. Select no shadow and click next to continue. Select auto generate a new certificate. Click next button to continue. Then choose a policy that you want to attach to this certificate. Click quit scene button to continue. For now, you can download all necessary certificate the device certificate, the public key file, the private key file, Amazon Trust Services endpoint. After downloading all the necessary file, then we could find it in the MQTT test client interface. Click connection details. And remember this endpoint we will use later for enter the uh, domain information in ADW300 adjustment software. about how you should connect ADW300 NG meter to a laptop via USB to S4 drive converter for software adjustment. For communication part, you connect pin 21 of ADW300 to the PX plus or S45 plus of converter, then to the USB port of laptop. It's the same for pin 22. You connect pin 22 of ADW300 to the TX minus or IS45 minus of USB to IS45 converter and then to the USB port of laptop. And for the power wiring of devices, ADW300, please check in the uh, instruct manual accordingly. After powering up ADW300 and connecting it to a laptop via USB to S45 converter like this, we can open your laptop and before opening the uh, ADW300 adjustment software, Make sure two things was confirmed on your laptop. First, you need to ensure that you have installed the serial port driver for your USB port. Second, check in device manager on your laptop to see which serial port was currently used by this ADW300. 
After confirming these two parts, we could open the ADW300 adjustment software for further configuration. Click Settings, Zero Port Setting. Here, the port 0M is the SIM port currently used by your USB to S45 converter. Bolt rate is default as 9600. Data bit is default as 8. Stop bit is default as 1. Pair bit is default as N. Confirm. And then click Broadcast Read. After successfully opening the port, we could formally start the commissioning. First, find Network 1, Parameter 1 interface, and find the Main 1 section. Click Read button to check your current setting. Then, paste your endpoint on AWS IoT to domain 1 section. Click set button to save your setting. And click read button again to check whether your setting was successfully saved. Second, Find MQGT Pyro interface. Click Read button first for checking your current setting. Here, set data upload topic as you wish. I set it as ADW300 publish as a default setting. Then click set button to save your setting. Click read button again to check whether your setting was successfully saved. And also remember, this topic that you have uploaded will be later used for subscription on AWS IoT. Third, Find SSL or TLS interface. Here, we have three certificate and key file that need to be informed. But first, you need to name them with .bin suffix for all three files. Then, we import certificate 1 with this Amazon Trust Service endpoints BIN file. As you can see, this part was success. Second, we import certificate 2 with device certificate. Still will name it with dot bin suffix. As you can see, this one is certificate for device.
now we import certificate 3 with private key BIN file. Still wait for execution. For now, all basic configuration of your AWS 300 for connecting to AWS IoT platform has been done. Return back to AWS IoT platform, check in test MQTT test client, and subscribe to a topic interface. Enter the topic name, which you have just set on ADW300. Mine will be ADW-Publish. Then click subscribe button. Wait for data to come from ADW300 to our AWS IoT platform. Normally the default data upload interval will be set to one minute. So there will be data coming from AWS 300 to your AWS platform after about one minute later. For now, you can see the data come from AWS 300 to your AWS IoT platform. Demo finished.